So the boss likes anime. Oh, oh no. Licks fiddle. So this is your British declaration of war. Very well. This will be your doing, ape. The Lord Protector shall be informed of everything that has conspired. Those that trample on the forest shall taste the cleansing fire. Little, little zealous, aren't they? Oh, and you're taking the dragon fruits. As you do. Whoa! You actually got to the orchard! That's crazy! Em, I was the one supervising you, so it's only natural that you're exceeding expectations. But don't get too full of yourself. Now that you've gotten this far, that stubborn old lord of the forest will probably come after you. She's been a real nuisance by hoarding all the rare ingredients down here. She's just a spirit, like me, but not all spirits are as nice as me. But enough about her. Did you know that this is the only place that dragon fruit can grow down here? Eating it makes you breathe fire. Looks cool on the outside, but third degree S. Wait, a soft fagel burns are no joke. Dragon fruit recipes are covered in the next volume of my recipe collection. I'll be checking in on you every now and then. So go out there and kick butt. Lohas Projects Recipes. Found at the... Okay. Interesting. I need to blow my nose. Gazoon. Nibble sword combo. Rising dragon. Up plus attack. An upward attack with a sword type weapon. Damage increases with weapon damage. Inflicts at least three damage. Maybe. What I want is the old-fashioned snail soup. Secrete a trail of electric mucus that inflicts eight points of damage to enemies. Ah! Oh, electric mucus. Slime jelly. Ah, crab shell bisque. Generates a watery vortex around you that inflicts eight points of damage. Disappears for five seconds if damage is taken. Mm. Oh, dragon fruit jelly. Yeah, but we gotta go kill some slimes. Oh, and now you have flame swords. Mm hmm The shrimp spear and the fiery shrimp sword? Hmm. It'd probably be good against plant enemies at the moment. Really, oh, it's just the elevator! Having... It has a happy face. It does. Loha Shantytown. So did this game get released, or did Wander not cover this already? I'd played Chapter 1 previously, but uh, Chapter 2 recently came out, and so we're starting over, mainly because Shell's never played it. Ah, no, the vandalism. Why? Why is that on their board? Oh. <laughs> Community notice. I guess you should read these. No, it's okay. Go on. At 2 p.m. on February 27th, the president and the director of the Department of Welfare will be doing an inspection of community. Please assemble in the central courtyard for the mandatory meet and greet. Two, as a reminder, the raising or cooking of magical creatures is a felony. Violators will be prosecuted. Three, in response to the growing reports of lecherous individuals prowling the alleys, magical tasers can now be leased at the security office. So, people for a time couldn't raise these creatures, and then there were lechers about? What? Look at all the little fish and shrimp. They look so happy down there. And we're going to devour them all. I'm kidding. <laughs> Used to let people go down there and catch the shrimp with their bare hands. What happened? Oh, not much. Only 20 personal injury lawsuits. Those shrimp grow mighty quick. What do you need the kitchen for? You getting back into cooking? I have to. If I don't pass the baton, the next generation won't even know how to even boil water. Ah, boiled water. Nah, there's a puzzle, all right. Wish I could remember. And I used to teach these two little girls how to cook, too. Boiling water, chilling water, drinking water. The works. I wonder if they still remember their old forgetful sensei. I'm sure they're very thankful. Okay. 
I think it's the same yep. dialogue. Wow, that was fast. Yup. I mean, having a spear is nice to keep things at bay. It also does slight burn damage, which is really good. Are those mushrooms trouble? These? Nah. They don't seem to be. Now this game has kind of a Hanna-Barbera thing going on. It's an old breakfast menu with some notes attached. Oh, look at that. Wait, was that when he was alive? Mm-hmm. There's a faded Polaroid pasted to the corner. Yeah, so that's that's him and Simmer. Mm-hmm. But when Simmer was alive or by spirits, are they spirits or Yeah, very she she's ghosts? dead too. Um, Boss, what mo motivated you to uh, pursue a life of crime and cooking? So one day, back when I was still an upstanding necromancer, I returned home to find my idiot roommate crouched over the living room table. She'd been staring at a pile of dead fish. I guess she stole them from the hatchery she worked at. Oh, side note. If I catch any of you stealing from my workplace, I will literally tear you apart. Anyways... She looked up at me with her drooling face and wanted to know if we could turn it into some real grilled fish. The right thing to do in this situation would have been to have smacked some sense into her. But as I grabbed a fish to smack her with, I suddenly had this brilliant brainwave. See, cooking is really just another way to manipulate dead bodies. I'm a necromancer. That's something I can totally do. Remove scales, remove skeleton, apply a gentle hellfire. And voila! I had made my first grilled fish. It tasted so great. Um. That meat. That meat. Uh. <laughs> that discovery really changed our lives. We first, were, we started looking all over for cookbooks, guides, and anyone who could teach us more about cooking. But even back then, Cooking was a dying art. It was difficult to find any information on the subject. That's when we started writing the Magical Culinary Compendium and organizing all of our knowledge into a simple recipe book. Uh, we spent so much time writing that and finally finished, but we never had a chance to share it with anyone. Because, you know, we died. Wait, I, I don't pay you to listen to my life story. Get back to work. Darn, that's just going to force me to confront my own life story. Wait, what's... Er, Tyler? Yeah, it's Tyler. Hey boss, I'm taking tomorrow off because I got a date with Emma. It's... I can't... You're breaking... Yeah, not buying it. How are you even doing that? Doing... What? That. Making it look like someone vomited on your face. Hey, that's disgusting. That technique took ages to perfect. Spirits can change their forms in any way they want. That's why most of them look like they're wi- They- well, What? That's why most of them look like they wear clothes? Uh... Skilled spirits like me can do even more delicate changes. Like this. Look, I'm you. <clears throat> I'm Lazy Tyler, and all I think about is spending all day attached to the- uh, To the hip with M. Okay, I get your little de- Tech demonstration. So will you give me the day off or will I need to get in touch with the Labor Bureau? I don't really care. I'll just get that guy to take over. I look forward to receiving my non-existent fine from the non-existent Labor Bureau. I can't. I need to stand here all day and think about my life tomorrow. Alright, I can't make anything else, but that's okay. Tyler, I've been thinking, where do we belong in this universe? I don't know about you, but I know my purpose is to rip my enemies apart on the battlefield. Oh, hey new guy. Name's Tyler. Tyler was the first skeleton boss revived. Please forgive his crudeness. Forgive your mom's crudeness. The only reason your job ruin is still here is because the boss won't let me knock it off your face. Hey, you want to shoot some hoops later? There's a basketball court in the upper levels that we can use. I can't. Large open spaces make me feel powerless and insignificant. You'll be fine. There's a few giant crabs hogging the courts. You won't have that much space. <laughs> I don't see how that makes it any better. <laughs> giant crabs. How's this place still around? I thought they were all scheduled to be torn down. There were higher-ups in the police department that were addicted to his shrimp dumplings. 
Ah, uh, the days when breakfast foods were scheduled controlled were scheduled controlled substances. Tyler, oh no, we've seen that. Mhm. Mm mushroom, oh. mushroom, mushroom men. So they're sending clouds of stink spores. Luckily, I've got this gnarly burning spear that just kind of does horrible things to my foes. Mm hmm There's also the poison vial, but it ain't... it ain't so great. It's a good thing that those just soar over your head. They don't seem to do anything to you. Yeah, they might if I jump. What a... can you... do you just stand on them? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Notice, the Environmental Normalization Bureau is now hiring 10 community engineers for candidates with AA or above cert certifications in earth, water, or wind manipulation. Responsibilities, repair and maintain water, ventilation, and other vital systems in the Species Preservation Park. The rest of this notice is covered by paint. So, magic did exist. Yes. Because, I mean, the main character, I mean, the Simmer is necromancy, but I suppose there was also wind and water and earth magic at the very least as well. Yep. I don't really know. I kind of remember the lore for this game. Where did all the people go? I mean, they all died probably, Ye but... Yeah. Contraband warehouse. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. For security reasons, you are now required to declare and surrender the following items. Pots and pans. Any items that can prepare soups or stews. Bottles and cans. Any item that can hold liquid drinks. Failure to declare and surrender these items will be viewed as treason and punishable by death. Glass bottles. So why was cooking a lost art and banned by the looks of it? I is it because people would eat the monsters and start turning into these things? I I wish I could remember. I do not. But even if I did know, I should probably not tell you. Mm -hmm. We'll catch up pretty quick to where I was in the story, I guess. Mainly just because, like, this is not a very long game. It's a good one, but it's not like... It's not a marathon of a game. I want to find a slime so I can get the better heals. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what's that heart? I think With that actually is straight up just like another heart. A tiny smiley face is on one of the valves. What's going on? I mean, this everything Chamber, has a face in this game. Achy, achy breaky, breaky, smelly, smelly heart. heart. Do, do my heart, my achy, breaky heart. Do, it's a corpse do. that hasn't decayed yet. Who knows how long it's been there? Ooh. There's a bunch of strange fungi growing out of it, emitting an eerie but familiar glow. I guess maybe kind of the point is they don't want people turning into weird mutants. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I, I, I'm definitely, having eaten all of these things, you definitely think, uh... If everybody had this ability, they'd start getting kind of spooky. Or crazy. I mean, it could just be like a full-on Bioshock situation where once you give a everybody access to kind of addictive superpowers, they start going a little nuts. Mm -hmm. There's another elevator. Yeah, but but there was an area up there. Oh. This billboard has appeared several times, but what does it mean? If they're selling something, they should really hire a new PR guy for this. That one I know. Okay. Wasp lasers. Yep. It's weird. I see a lot of dead enemies that I'm pretty sure I didn't kill. Oh, oh shoot. a queen. Uh, 
Oh, the Firefly King's tail. So, not quite a queen. A three-pronged tail that can power several light bulbs. And you already got that box. Yep. Yeah, that had the glass bottle. There we go. Use disease. Uh, did we get everything over here? I think so. Looks like unless there's secrets around here. I think so. This is secrets more in terms of like you can come back later and find this location. And it might have something cool in it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ooh. Environmental Rehabilitation Log. Fungi. Fungi thrive in warm, wet, and dark environments. The Lohas Housing Projects were the... He, wait. Okay, they were the lower classes of society lived. Okay. Fulfill all three conditions. Oh. Oh, no. So, where? what are the different strata, then, of society? I suppose they said that the upper level had the basketball courts and whatnot? Yeah. Most species performed well a week after spore release. The fast-growing red spike fungi spread across the entire area. They use their sharp, hardened caps to kill larger animals and absorb them for nutrition. Oh. Okay, there's the log fungi number two. The ecosystem has stabilized after three months. Snails and laser fly larvae can now control fungus populations. Reminder to verify data in these three months. Oh, in three more months, then. Hey, it's Simmer! I knew you'd be mad about me writing in your logs, but I think you look funny when you're mad, so here it is! <laughs> While you were farming mushrooms, did you happen to see any of one of my skeleton soldiers down there? I spent a lot of money on its evil duck heart. What? An evil duck heart? The heart that we... Mm -hmm, that you picked up? I don't want to lose it. If you find it, could you bring it to me? Okay, we've already read this one. I thought that the logs would have been with those, each of those little lights so that you could easily access each one, but maybe not. I think that's everything. There might be more. What is that foot? Foot. Permanent double jump. Oh, it's a foot strapped to a foot. Oh, ew. Boss wants me to add this to you. It's part of your employee's benefits. You should really eat some more something more nutritious than fried mosquitoes. It took a long time for me to find these feet. Please take care of them. Okay. So in this way, we're not limited to mm -hmm. always using mosquitoes. Okay. Doesn't look like the mosquitoes gives me a third jump, though, which is kind of tragic. Yeah, yeah. But triple jump this early would be a little strong. So I can kind of understand why. Let's see. Thought Wonder would have started with Chapter 2? I would have, but if I'm involving Shell in a series, I'd rather start over. He's got a weird face. He's blushing when he spurts? Yup. I mean... That doesn't sound right. But what else are you supposed to say? He's a, he is a mushroom. A like spore? that is That is, I guess, technically how they breed. It, yeah, it's, it's how they reproduce. It's kind of Ow. weird. There we go. It's a weird game. Uh, let's see. Periodically emit a cloud of toxic spores. Inflicts spore poison on enemies, causing 60 points of damage. Yeah, probably. Ah. Uh, well, let's see. We, we need to some... cook up our mushrooms. And we've got... Uh, let's see. Laser Firefly lantern. or better poison. Not another jar. Oh, okay. Now I've got a range attack. Not that it matters too much. Oh, there's a slime. Oh, that's such a cute face. He looks so happy and is now dead. 
Is it still moving? Okay, so maybe it, it not dead. It's probably one of those instances where they break apart and get smaller and smaller, but... Still alive? This whole poison bottle thing is not nearly as effective as I was hoping it would be. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. It's one of these guys again. Yep. He's deceased, slime boy. This, at least throwing this uh, gets rid of his, like, poison blobs. Oh, I bet I can... Yep, I can actually hit him. With his spear at this range. Hell yeah, ah, spear. nice. More games need to respect the spear. So these seem to be slime chambers. You can pass through the walls, but then... I think it hurts or it kills me. I forget. Ouch. Yeah, it, it does, does hurt. It does damage. There we go. Ah, good catch there. Ooh. Ooh. Lost shrimp recipe. Pancakes. Shrimp pancakes. I kind of had a weird shrimp crepe cake. Yeah. How was that? I mean, it... I, I was really hoping that when we ordered it from the Vietnamese place, it was actually going to be the components chopped up and then made into a... Yeah, I was, I was hoping it would be something more... Uh, oh, what's the what's the Japanese, like, pancake thing? Uh, Akwanamayaki. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what you just said, wasn't it? Yes. So I thought that that was going to ha- that was going to be it, but no, it was a very thin, kind of curried crepe, and it just had a bunch of sliced onions, shrimp, which I hate it when shrimp includes the tails. Why? Why do people have the tail shells? on when you you have a, a curry or a stir fry or something. Why not deshell them? Because I don't want to have to individually pick up the shrimp and tear the shell off of the end of the tail. Ugh. But oh, in any bye. case, so they're all those. And then I don't know what kind of radish it was. I think they were a kind of radish strip. But it was interesting, but I would have liked it if I could have made maybe a more like pancakey omelet with just the individual components baked in. Notice Lake Lojas Poverty Spark. Wait, Poverty Park is a stress-free public park. Everyone. So make Lojas Poverty oh. Park a stress-free public park. Everyone. Oh, uh, it's really weird when you start reading something and you don't know what the end is going to be. Yep. Make Lojas Poverty Park a stress-free public park for everyone. Setting up stalls and soliciting at the park is strictly forbidden. Violators will be shot on sight. Well then. Yep. Bit totalitarian. Well then. Okay. Small water shield that blocks projectiles, but mainly is slime jelly. Slime jelly. What I really want is crab. We haven't found the crabs yet. I don't know where Jimbo's secret soup is. Well, we know that the crabs are playing basketball right now. Okay. Fish is just moving speed and water. Or at least they're on the basketball court. Mm-hmm. Our talented apprentice has made it through the slime juice sewers. All that green stuff is actually their waste and digestive juices. I hope you didn't accidentally swallow any of it. If you pass the park, you'll arrive at a crab habitat. There's a bunch more dishes that you can make with crabs. A lot of the plants in the park can can talk. Is that normal? Nope. Any one of our of Tyler and Emma's terrifying home videos would be more normal than a talking plant. It's hard to find a plant that won't talk or attack you in this day and age. Oh, wait. Found some? Pickled radishes from literally a million years at- You can't eat us. We're also sentient beings. You're an evil necromancer. What the crap? Get out of my sight! I was the last of the non-sentient pickled radishes. Well, maybe one day, even the dirt will grow a face and tell us not to step on it. 
Our talent. Okay, yeah, we there we go. One. Let's give this a shot. Oh, now you have a laser. Kind of morbid that you just have the corpse of one of the fireflies on a stick, but yeah. it works. Uh, a carrot. Now that is a cool necromancer statue. It is. That's the Lord of the Forest. Oh. Stems for sale, 60 stakes each. Half the proceeds go to the Lord Protector of the Forest. Hey, buddy, can I interest you in these amazing stems? You'll receive the best stems money can buy, but more importantly, you'll be doing the forest an important service. Any good plant should have a couple of these to show solidarity with the Lord Protector in our struggle against the evil necromancer. Wait, you don't look like a plant. You're an animal? Some kind of moving human corpse. You're one of Simmer's co cowardly zombie soldiers. Keep your dirty unhead hands away from my stamps. Beat it! What? Never seen an angry cat before? Get lost! Okay. Oh. Look! It's the necromancer's new weapon! A weapon? It looks like a human to me. We need to report this back to Pontifex. He warned us about the humans and their destructive powers. Is that right, though? My great-grandpa said the humans used to take care of us. They'd put us into bags so that we wouldn't get bitten by bugs. What are you talking about? Did you not hear the news? That a human massacred a bunch of guava trees down at the forest? But guava trees aren't exactly like us. They're still dumb, violent, and aggressive. Don't underestimate those things. Today it might just be the guava trees, but tomorrow it'll be us. And why did the last one say nothing? What is it? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh no, it's an old banana. Oh, so that's a young banana? We're the young bananas. We refuse to be eaten by lower animals. No more banana abuse. Lord Protector, please hear our voices. But in the end, don't we belong in the stomachs of other creatures? We're meant to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. We will not lie down and give our lives up like that. Bananas deserve to leave, lead their own fulfilling lives too. Uh, maybe one day you'll understand. Oh, hey, Big Vine. Why are you here? I don't mo like meeting people I know when I'm out and about. Nothing against you personally. I'm trying to develop a mature aura of sophisticated Inui by Inui by putting on my thinking face under the streetlight. Seeing you broke my immersion now, so I have to start all over again. <laughs> the mood around here has been kind of tense. The vegetables and fruits are up in arms over something. It looks like your boss and my boss are also fighting. That's why you were sent to fight me. Here's the thing, I just don't understand the reason behind starting fights, when there's so much to see and do. I used to be rooted to the ground, but now that I'm free, I spent all my time exploring this place. I don't have the time and energy to start fights. Odd way. Ugh. I had a psychology teacher in high school who hated when anybody saw him, mm. like, out and about, and would, like, actively run away. So I saw him at a comic book store once, he took one look at me and left. Whoa. Wait, is that a cone? Yes, is that, that is, the cone. That is the cone. You are falling behind on your work, lowly laborer. You are neglecting your sacred duty and purposely slacking off. This is stupid. I'm so bored of carving rocks all day that my eyes are about to sprout. I'm about this close to just lying face down and taking root. You fail to recognize the significance of your work. The Lord Protector is our guiding light. To revere and revel in the Lord's light is to respect the future of plant kind. I don't see how making statues or following the boss's ecology helps me in any way. Silence! Our Lord transcends socioeconomic labels, so there will be none of this boss business. Your work for greatness, uh, not for your petty desires. Our humble lord has done so much for us and has allowed for us to see greatness. We must band together in worship to eliminate any threats. Nope. No thanks. I'll band together with my friends when I get off work. I don't think your w methods are working, Pontifex. Who are you? And why are you speaking to me? 
Unlike you, I'm just a denizen down here. Many of us feel like we lack a clear vision, a concrete goal to rally behind. That's why society has been so hectic. What's the point of your worship? Do you really understand the goals of your lord beyond vague slogans? Shut it! You... You... I shall provide a powerful rebuttal! Uh, give me a moment! Uh, the lord... Um... Hmm. It's all this brown fellow downstairs looking for someone, and you kind of fit the bill, do you? No, you're mistaken. That was just a turd. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the cone... The cone doesn't want to have the ice cream on him. 